Hey everybody, this is Joshua Kenny Greenwood. I am the senior pastor and the overseer here at the Empowerment Center Church, churchfreedom.org, and I'm also the author of this book called The Corporation Soul, Freeing America's Pulpits from the Restrictive 501c3 Laws for Churches. Today we actually got a question. I'm actually going to read it right off here on my computer. It says, should a checking account be established before any tithes, offerings, or donations are received? Can a donor just write a donation check out to me personally until I set up the church's bank accounts? Wow, that's a really, really good question. The first off, uh, before you really start accepting uh, donations uh, in the form of checks and, and anything like that, money and cash, uh, you should really uh, first properly establish your church through the church establishment affidavit, then set up the, the, the church's subsequent corporation soul, then uh, set up those uh, the corporation soul's uh, bank accounts uh, for, for the ministry, and then once everything is completely and totally set up, then start accepting and receiving those donations. If you receive donations, okay, if you receive donations before all that, all right, uh, and it's in your name, that can be counted as personal income. You're going to need to count that as personal income at your end of your tax returns for your personal uh, tax returns, not for the church. Uh, you just want to make a note of that. The book properly explains that in great detail. So I hope that that's answered your question. If you have another question, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comment box. If it's an original question, we'll go ahead and post a video here on YouTube, which is another reason why you need to uh, subscribe to this channel. And uh, I hope that that helps you get our book today at corporationsoulbook.com. Thank you so much. God bless.